there, it's Marianne from Thrive Admin Services. And in this video, I'm actually showing you one of the great new features that Teams has had with a recent upgrade to make it far more competitive with Zoom when it comes to the use of breakout rooms and being able to move your attendees into multiple rooms and pull them back into the main meeting room. This is a huge, been a huge sticking point for a lot of people when it comes to moving from Zoom or other programs across into Teams. So I want to walk you through it and see if you, this will now help you be ready to move across into Teams. Alrighty, so here we are inside of Teams and I've got this open session. So I'll just open this one up so we can see everything pretty clearly. Hello, here I am. So I wanted to show you how you can set up your breakout rooms and some of the really cool new features that make Teams breakout rooms really competitive with Zoom now. So we're heading up here to the one that's in the, now I'm on the desktop and I'm on a Mac. So some of my buttons may look a little bit different on my windows, but you should have, if you're working on the desktop version, you should have this one here called Rooms and you can see it's called Breakout Room. So if we click on that, I'm going to turn my camera off because you don't need to see my face. So we can create breakout rooms and we can choose the number of rooms we want and you can have all the way up to 50 rooms. So this is really handy when you're talking about large conferences and networking events, those sorts of things, doing them online and being able to do those activity based or uh, conference style events and having all of these rooms. So in this instance, I'm going to create three different rooms. Now, the next thing I can do is assign people and teams will let me do it in two different ways. I can let teams automatically assign people in the meeting and it will just sort of put together a bit of a random assortment based on as people are coming in or I can manually choose how people are going into each room. So I'm going to set it to automatically. In this instance, I'm the only person in this meeting, so it's not going to work all the way through for you, but I could be able to show you all the processes. So we're going to create our rooms and it's going to generate now three breakout rooms. So we have our main room, which is the meeting that I'm sitting in, which is this one here. Um, what happened there? And then um, we've now got our three meeting rooms. So our, our participants, me as the host of the meeting, any participants would be assigned into meeting rooms. I can add rooms. Uh, I can do an announcement too, which will um, go out to all of the rooms. So things like, you know, um, make sure that you've wrapped everything up before you come back to the room, it's, it's the main room, etc., etc. I can delete rooms. And then we've got some settings here. So in the settings, I can set a time limit. And that means that that breakout room will only be open for that fixed period of time. And then it will force everybody back into that main meeting room. So if you're doing something like a speed networking session, or you're doing uh, conference groups in sort of brainstorming sessions, those sorts of things, and you want them to have five minutes, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, um, you can put the time limit on. So if we click that one on, you can see that I can have it go for up to 23 hours, so 23 hours and 59 minutes. So it can effectively run for 24 hours in a breakout room, which is also insane. So if I was to say, we'll make them five minutes in this instance. And then um, what will happen is when that timer runs out, everyone will get, the rooms will shut down automatically and it will push everybody back. So if you're doing something like a speed networking or a brainstorming session, and you want people to go away and come back and you want them to be different groups each time, same as in Zoom, you would create a new set of breakout rooms and automatically assign people in and it'll do a random shuffle. Now, um, you can also have it here so that it will automatically move people to rooms so that once your rooms are created, it'll start moving them. So you need to let people know before you hit save here because it'll start pushing them out and let people return to the main room. So this would let people manually choose to leave or independently choose to leave that breakout room and come back to the main room of their own accord as well. So it stops it stops them from being locked into that. So if we go save, now some of my settings here, as I said, because I'm the only one, they won't work all the way through. So that's done. If we go back, the other thing that I can do here is that I can rename a room. So I can call that, we might call this one, uh, this one might be orange group. And we might have another one. And we're going to call this one. We might rename that green group. And rename. And the last one we might call uh, the maroon group. Okay. 
And so this way, um, once I've got a group here, once it's once I've got other attendees, I can open the room or I can close the room so I can override things and manually deal with that. Anytime I open or close a room, it will push people in and it will pull people back out. So if I click open here, it will push all of the participants in. If I was to manually open individual rooms and close individual rooms, it will move people in and out. You can also assign your participants independently. So you can manually assign people or you can hit the shuffle button and it will move people around. So obviously there's no one here but I'll be able to check that at any time and view who is where, what room they're in. So if you were to do a, an, a, an automated or a random assignment and find that you end up with the same people, you'll be able to manually assign people and move them around the same as you can in Zoom. So is that what it will take for you to come across and use Microsoft Teams? Is this your chance to stop paying for Zoom or WebEx or any other program you're using for conferencing and networking opportunities online? Check it out. Have a go. If you would like, I'm happy to jump in a team with you and we can play with it together. So connect with me. You can subscribe to my YouTube channel. It's the best way to stay up to date on all of my new videos and content. You'll find me hanging out on Facebook, Instagram and LinkedIn under Thrive Admin Services or you can check out the other ways that I can help you over on my website at thriveadmin.com. Have a great day.